Good evening, Liberty Drive families. I'm Mr. Norfleet, and I want to share with you guys two strategies that we've learned this year dealing with multiplication, and that is box method and partial product method. So the first method, box method, we're going to deal with a two-digit by two-digit number. You have one, two digits here, one, two digits here. So first thing we need to do is decompose these two digits. So 24 decomposes into 20 plus 4. And we're going to multiply that by the decomposition of 18, which is 10 plus 8. So after we decompose these numbers, we can start on the box method. So the first thing dealing with the box method, we need to draw a box, hence the name box method. So the 20 plus 4 goes on the top. So we write 20 plus 4, and then the 10 plus 8 goes on the side. The 10 plus 8. And I like to teach my kids that opposite sides are equal, and we know this from area. So opposite sides, 20 plus 4, this opposite side here is going to also be 20 plus 4. This side is 10 plus 8. This opposite side is going to also be 10 plus 8. And now, every box where the numbers connect, we're going to multiply those numbers. This is what I mean. In this box, 10 and 20 connects, we're going to multiply 10 times 20, and we get 200. In this box, these two numbers connect. We're going to multiply 4 times 10, and we get 40. This box, these two numbers connect, and we do 8 times 4, and we get 32. And in the last box, these two numbers connect, we multiply, we do 8 times 20. We get 160. The last step in box method is to add each one of these individual answers together to get a total answer. So we're going to add 200 plus 160 plus 40 plus 32. I'm going to add all these numbers together. So we have 0 plus 0 plus 0 plus 2 gives us 2. 0 plus 6 is 6. Plus 4 is 10. Plus 3 is 13. And we're going to regroup our 1. 1 plus 2 is 3. Plus 1 is 4. Our total answer is 432. And there's one more method I want to show you guys. This is partial product method. And you guys are going to see that we're going to get the same answer regardless. So here it is. First off, we line these numbers up. 24 times 18. Same concept, but we don't have to decompose, so to speak, this time. First of all, we circle these first two numbers. And we have 4 times 8. We start in the 1's place, and we multiply by the 1's place. 4 times 8 gives us 32. And with another marker, I'm going to circle the 1's place times the 10's place. So this time we have 8 times 20. 8 times 20 gives us 160. Next, we're going to move to the 10's place in the bottom number. So we have 10's place times the ones place. It kind of looks like an X right now. So we have 10 times 4, which gives us 40. And then last but not least, we're going to take the blue and we're going to multiply the tens place times the tens place. And we have 10 times 20, and that gives you 200. And if you guys notice, we add all these together, and we got the same numbers. We got 200, we got 160, we got 40, and we got 32. We're adding the same numbers up. So we got 2 plus 0 gives us 2. We got 3 plus 6 gives us 9, plus 4 gives us 13. We regroup by 1. Then we have 1 plus 1 gives us 2, plus 2 gives us 4. Both of these answers are the same with two different methods. Whichever your child chooses to use, they may use. Thank you.